tap our foot down, we don't weight change, we step our foot down, we change our weight onto that foot, we are never split weight, we are never here, okay? So, start with the left foot, we tap it front, place the heel down, then we take our hips, we shift it onto the heel, all right? Right foot, tap down, heel, weight shift onto that foot, or weight shift onto the heel. When we say we pull the hip back, we're not literally pulling it back here, but we're taking our weight and we're moving it onto the heel. If we're on the heel, we're in the back. If we're on the toes, we're in the front. All right? So, facing sideways here, we're going to tap, heel, and then my hip is going to move onto the heel, and that's pulling it back. Right foot, heel, move the hips onto the heel, we're now pulling it back. And same thing, we go backwards, left foot, heel, down, right foot, oh, right foot, heel, down, left, heel, down, right, heel, down. Where it becomes really important when we do it into our basics here, we're gonna start with the heel down on the one and the five. We generally don't, but I'll explain it uh, in the next part. So, left foot here, heel down, shift the weight onto that, onto that heel, right foot comes back. Heel down, weight shift onto that heel. Left, heel down, weight shift. Right, heel down, weight shift. Left, heel, shift. Right, heel, shift. That's one, and two, and three, and then milk it until you hit four. Go five, and six, and seven, milk to eight, and one, and two, and three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight. Okay, now, the reason we're doing it that way is because when we do our one and the five, we still weight change, we just don't put our heel down. So, then y'all know we're gonna step our left foot down on one, but instead of putting the heel down, we're gonna weight shift onto the toes, and then push back two. Step three, shift four. Heel down, or toe down five. Shift six. Stop seven, shift eight. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Very last thing, um, I wanna, you wanna do it sideways, I'm gonna do it facing this way here. When we shift our weight, we're shifting backwards onto the heel here, but we're not shifting out to the side. So Danielle's gonna demonstrate facing this way here. You'll see her hips move forward and backwards. You're gonna see mine not move out this way here. As we shift our weight from foot to foot here, we're pulling the hips back onto the heel instead of trying to move outwards this way here. So when I take my steps, I'm bringing my weight back. I'm trying to keep my weight back. So that way when I do a basic, say I wanna go five, six, seven, I'll keep my weight back here, and to prevent falling, I shift onto my heel, I feel very balanced, very solid, I'm not tripping here. I kind of did, but don't worry about that part. <laughs> and then I go back to my basics. One, two, three. Control that shift forward and you won't fall. Five, six, seven. Tap that foot down, heel down, and you won't fall. Okay? And that was weight change. Did we cover anything else? Just last reminder, make sure we're dancing pizza and one heel in front of the other. We're not dancing one track, which would be one foot completely in front of the other. It's only the heels overlapping. The toes are going slightly out to the side. That'll give you that range of motion in your hips. That'll also keep your inner thighs working, which closes up your legs, gives you a nicer appearance here, and gives you better balance as well. So, when in doubt, start with pizza, work your way up. Good job, everybody. <laughs>